welcome to Equivision Alley. Today I wanted to bring you guys a product review. So today I'll be talking about the Healthy Hair Care Hair Moisturizer, and it's also commonly called the pink stuff, so if you hear it one way or the other, I'm talking about the same thing. So I'll start off with a little backstory. I discovered this stuff five years ago when I had a lease horse that had dry skin, and so I walked in it over and I was just looking up and down the walls, and I found Healthy Hair Care pink stuff. And I picked it up and fell in love with it pretty much instantly. Within a couple of weeks of using it, her dry skin went away and her coat also got this majestic sheen to it. She was a dark bay and she was very sun bleached, but suddenly her hair stopped feeling so dry and nasty and started really like getting really shiny and soft and nice. So I was impressed. Then when that lease ended, it went into a deep dark corner, completely forgot about it. I had no horse to use it on, so it just kind of got pushed away. Then I started leasing Meadow, and I still had kind of like forgotten about it, and finally one day I was just going through my stuff, stumbled upon it, and started to use it on her. And I noticed the same changes where her coat suddenly got a lot softer and a lot healthier and a lot shinier. Way down the line, I finally am owning Meadow, I end up getting another horse GT, and he also has some dry skin issues, so I start using it on him, and I have the exact same results, so consistency, that is one of the many pros. And both my horses shine extremely well in the summer, because I do use a hair moisturizer almost every day, and I don't have issues with sun bleaching on my personal horses. The uh, lease horse had come to me sun bleached and I didn't lease her into the next summer, so I don't even know if it was something to fix. But uh, that's a pro to me is the fact that I feel like my horses don't sun bleach because their hair is very nourished. But another pro is that it is silicone and alcohol free. So silicone will coat the hair shaft, the cuticle, and keep moisture from entering. And so if a product is labeled as nourishing but contains silicones, it might be nourishing that day, but from there on out until you wash it out with some sort of surfactant shampoo, uh, it will keep the hair from absorbing moisture naturally with the oils that are produced by the coat or with outside environmental things. It prevents it and so it causes the hair to get very dry and brittle and sad. So because this is silicone free you get all of the benefits and none of those negatives that come with silicones. It's also alcohol free so again just not drying. Alcohol tends to dry out. Uh, certain amounts of alcohol in certain products are okay. It's used as part of the formula to stabilize things a lot of the time but in this case, it's alcohol free. So it's just basically putting all the good stuff on with none of the bad stuff. It has a glycol and natural oil base. So the glycol helps it disperse into water because that's what you mix it with. And so the lanolin and vitamin E have a really good carrier of the natural oils. And overall, it's a really good nourishing mixture. Like if you look at the label, you're just like, yes, this will make my horse's hair soft. It also is, a, since it, you buy it, it's very affordable and it's in a concentrate, probably about, mm, like the small bottle is probably about that big. It's $14, I think. And a, the one bottle will last me probably six months with two horses. I like it because I actually make two separate bottles of the hair moisturizer because one is much more heavily concentrated. They have a recommended rate dosing I don't know what you'd call it but they have a recommended mixing rate and I follow that for one bottle because for the coat it's really good doesn't get greasy no worries about like slip and slide or dirt or traction or anything like that with the second bottle I put it at a much higher rate and I use it on the mane and the tail solely I don't put it on the body because I like to have a much heavier product for the tail and mane because I feel like they get drier a lot easier. 
And so I've not had as many issues with breakage or dryness or staining, etc. On the tail, especially because I have a paint with white that goes down to the bottom. And uh, it really impresses me that you buy this concentrate so you're allowed to customize it to what you and your horse need. And that's really good to me. Another thing that I really like is that because it encourages a healthy coat, it cuts down on grooming time, uh, cuts down on sun bleaching, that kind of stuff. So it, the way that it cuts down on sun bleaching and grooming time is that when you're encouraging the natural oils and the health of the skin, you are increasing the likelihood that the hair follicle is actually going to be very well hydrated and not very porous. So dry hair is very porous and will cling to stains and is more likely to lose pigmentation than a hair follicle and hair shaft that is well hydrated and healthy. So overall, it really just cuts down on the grooming time because hair, I also don't have any issues with like dirt sticking because the natural oils in the coat will just kind of like repel it. So you basically just really quickly you can run a brush over and your horse is clean, which is super helpful because I have a horse that is mostly white and she stays relatively clean, but when she does roll, it's just a matter of currying, brushing, done. It's super quick. It's maybe 15 minutes to do everything head to toe and get her looking white and shiny and almost show ready except for select spots of her that she decided to like, I don't know, grind into the red Georgia clay. But aside from that, it just really does improve the health of the hair and the coat overall. Some cons are that it's not ready made. So if you're the type of person who wants to walk into the store and pick a bottle up off the shelf and not have to make it yourself, have to worry about having a bottle, a funnel, it's not for you. You do have to have at least a bottle. You can squirt, you don't have to have a funnel. You can like squirt it into the top of the bottle. I like using a funnel because I'm clumsy. Uh, and then you mix it with water. So it's not like you have to mix it with anything that is not easily accessible or wanted to be bought by certain people like, uh, like some people can't come in contact with like soy oils and stuff. So you don't have to mix it in oil base yourself. You just mix it in water. So that if it's not for you, it's not for you. Like if you don't want to mix something together, that's okay. There's other products out there. But this is, in my opinion, it's a holy grail item in my grooming kit. And I don't think anything else compares. So I think it's worth mixing it together and having your own bottle especially because you can buy spray bottles off their website really cheap. You can buy spray bottles at Target. You can buy spray bottles at the dollar store that work really well. So it doesn't really seem like a hassle to me. Uh, another thing is that it's not really the most accessible. So I am a person who likes to go into the store and buy it myself. So like I said, I walked into Dover and that's how I really discovered it. And Dover has carried it all these years, but it's not at the bigger chains that have more locations like Tractor Supply. So Tractor Supply has just recently started carrying Healthy Hair Care's some of their other products, but not the pink stuff yet. And I would sincerely enjoy if they did start carrying the pink stuff because that would mean that it would be so much more accessible to so many more people. And I don't know if that's on the side of Tractor Supply. I don't know if it's on the side of the Healthy Hair Care Group. I don't know. I just would really sincerely enjoy seeing it in a bigger chain that was more widely accessible to people because Dover's only have so many locations. It's kind of a smaller corporation than something like Tractor Supply or other agricultural stores. So... That's a thing. It's not really a big problem. You can order it off of offline. So that kind of solves the problem for a lot of people. But I personally like to be able to like run to the store and grab some when I'm out. Another thing is that it needs to be used consistently for a lot of the pros that I listed. You can't just spray it on the day of a show and expect like stunning results. It's not going to be show sheen where you, sh you spray it on and suddenly your horse is like, magically slick and shiny. Shoshin, again, not great for the coat long term. And, you know, while the coat is like sleek, it's not actually soft. It's like slick almost. This makes the coat healthy and makes it actually soft and actually 
sleek in the way of being healthy and laying nice and pretty. So it's, it's a give and a take. If you're going to be a show person who really wants to see the effects, you're already going to be grooming your horse every day and it really takes almost no time to add it into your grooming regimen. What I do is I spray down the horse and I use a sheepskin mitt to just really coat it on all the hair. And then when I do it on the tail, mane and tail, I uh, hand pick any knots out and then I will spray it and just run it through with my fingers. It's really easy. Really doesn't add any time to your grooming regimen. So I think that the fact that it needs to be used consistently is not really a con. It's just a con for people who either don't groom their own horse that often or aren't really a fan of adding something in to their grooming regimen. I know a lot of people who like to groom as quickly as possible, throw the tack on, ride, and then cool out and go and be done. That's, I personally don't believe in doing things like that. I personally believe in a lot of grooming, so it really wasn't a big deal to add to my grooming regimen. It is one of my holy grail products. It is something that I will recommend to anybody if they ask uh, about a product that like if one if they ask for hey have you heard of any products like I'm looking for something new that's the one of the first things I will suggest especially if they're saying oh you know my horse has this issue with dryness or my horse's coat really isn't as shiny as it needs to be I'll suggest not only looking at the diet but also going and doing something topical that will nourish the hair itself and that's what really makes the biggest difference is making sure that your horse is healthy inside and out. It's not just going to be one or the other. So this is the product that I love to use on the outside to really make that wow difference. So that is it. And I thank you guys for joining me. If you guys could like and subscribe and comment. If you could tell me your favorite grooming product down below, that would be fantastic. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!